In this video, we're talking about how you can become a better public speaker, and we're starting right now. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If this is your first time here and you wanna be a successful engineer, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Before getting started in this video, I will refer to a presentation as a talk because you may not always be presenting something, just like the example video that we will use as a framework for this video. And that example is Oprah Winfrey's award acceptance speech of the Cecil B. DeMille Award, which happened earlier this month during the 2018 Golden Globes. I also wanna say that for most people, their biggest issue when public speaking or doing a presentation or a talk is their anxiety, being nervous about it. This video is gonna give you five tactics, five tips so that you can become a better presenter, which will help you be less anxious. But one of the best ways to be less nervous and less anxious is to practice a lot. And don't just practice, practice in front of your friends and family and practice in front of your smartphone, record yourself so you can hear what you sound like, you can see yourself on camera, it will help you feel a little bit better. So with that being said, let's jump right into these five tips using Oprah Winfrey's speech as an example. Tip number one is to tell a story. Even better, tell your story if it's relevant to your talk. Generally during a presentation you have a core message and that message is better received and easier to follow along if you provide a story for that message. In 1964, I was a little girl sitting on the linoleum floor of my mother's house in Milwaukee watching Anne Bancroft present the Oscar for Best Actor at the 36th Academy Awards. She opened the envelope and said five words that literally made history. Vivid details like the linoleum floor or how you felt or what you saw during that story will trigger the imagination of your audience, which allows you to capture their attention from the beginning. It allows them to follow along in their own minds and their attention will be fixed on you and your words. As your talk continues and evolves, you may have chapters, different segments of your presentation, but your story should connect the dots between all these pieces. In public speaking, we call this a through line. It's very important that you develop a through line in whatever presentation you're giving. And it is not lost on me that at this moment, there are some little girls watching as I become the first black woman to be given the same award. Tip number two for your talk is to connect it to historic events. Connect it to things that have already happened that makes your talk more significant right now. Oprah mentions events like Sidney Poitier becoming the first African-American to be awarded Best Actor. The winner is Sidney Poitier. Up to the stage came the most elegant man I had ever seen. I remember his tie was white and of course his skin was black and I'd never seen a black man being celebrated like that. And also the story of Reese Taylor who Rosa Parks became principal investigator for that event that happened in 1944. And there's someone else, Reese Taylor. Her story was reported to the NAACP where a young worker by the name of Rosa Parks became the lead investigator on her case and together they sought justice. Doing this reinforces the message of your talk and shows that this is not just your campaign, that you are continuing the mission of many great people who have come before you and you are just advancing this overall goal. It makes the audience feel more compelled to follow along and really become a part of this story themselves. Tip number three is to know your audience. The Hollywood celebrities in the live crowd and everyone watching the broadcast and even watching it later on YouTube are particularly attached to the message that Oprah has in her speech, which if you listen to the full speech is deeply rooted within women empowerment and the Me Too movement that went relatively viral last fall in 2017. This connection to your audience will speak right to their hearts. And if you glance around at the audience during Oprah's talks, you can see the emotion on their faces. You can see the engagement in their eye contact with her. They are following along, she has them. She lived as we all have lived too many years in a culture broken by brutally powerful men. For too long, women have not been heard or believed if they dared to speak their truth to the power 
of those men. She is speaking directly to that audience and therefore they feel like it is specifically crafted for them, which it is and yours should be too. Tip number four is to make your talk about something bigger than ourselves. People latch on to a movement, a goal, a mission, a vision, something that could not be accomplished by just one or two people, something that creates an entire community, a tribe to achieve this. But it's not just a story affecting the entertainment industry. It's one that transcends any culture, geography, race, religion, politics, or workplace. So I want tonight to express gratitude to all the women who have endured years of abuse and assault because they, like my mother, had children to feed and bills to pay and dreams to pursue. In a lot of ways, that's what's going on here with the Mars generation. We need an entire community that can see what we're trying to do in our efforts to reach Mars. Oprah's message, her vision, her movement is all about women empowerment, a goal to eliminate sexual harassment in this world, to spread awareness to the Me Too campaign, and to encourage women to speak up and share their stories. She doesn't say it directly, but at one point she does say, and last year we became the story. Each of us in this room, are celebrated because of the stories that we tell. And this year, we became the story. And what she's talking about is Time Magazine choosing the silence breakers as the Time Person of the Year. The women who have come forward, the women who have told their stories. And she says that this is something the entire world faces. And it makes people feel like they are part of this change that needs an entire community in order to make it happen. People want to be a part of something that's bigger than themselves that they could not achieve alone. And tip number five is to inspire, to create action. Oprah concludes her talk by reminding everyone that she has interviewed hundreds of people who have had the ugliest things imaginable happen to them in their lives. But one quality they all seem to share is the ability to maintain hope, to persevere for a brighter tomorrow, even in the darkest of days. And she inspires her audience by shouting out that a new day is on the horizon. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. which brought the audience to their feet, rallies the crowd, and further reinforces this spark for change. Everyone in the audience watching live and watching the rebroadcast will bring that inspiration home back to their families, their communities, and talk about what they experienced, talk about how they felt in that moment. And when that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women many of whom are right here in this room tonight, and some pretty phenomenal men. Which is one of the best things that she did during her talk. She gave the audience something to walk away with, a way that they can be a part of this movement, that they can spread this message themselves. Fighting hard to make sure that they become the leaders who take us to the time when nobody ever has to say, me too, again. Thank you. This is what you need to do in your message. You need to motivate for change and you need to inspire action. What can people do to support your message? So your words can go on and change the world. Hey, 1% Nation, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, for the five tips for your next presentation. If you did, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. If you have a question about anything, guys, leave it in the comments below. And if you want the 1% Engineer Kit, five free eBooks and access to the Facebook group, Follow the links in the description. And as always guys, thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% Engineer. Cheers.